Hi, everybody. Welcome to Chicks Talking Picks. Hi, Jenny. How are you doing today? I'm good, Sandy. How are you? I'm really good. Thanks. I'm out here in Borrego Springs, California. If you're watching from way far away, this um, is uh, down in Southern California. It's uh, the largest um, desert state park or state park in California. And Jenny, it looks like you're home. Yeah, I'm nowhere exciting, just home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, great. Um, we have an interesting show today. There's three images from um, a, uh, uh, well, Doug White, I'll say his name because he's got his copyright on all of the images. So, so we're taking a look at Doug's images today. And uh, I think it's gonna, they're gonna bring up a lot of good questions about entering the fair categories and things like that. So great, okay, let's get to the first image. Let's get over there and uh, all right. And when Sandy says fair, she's meaning the San Diego um, exhibit of photography specifically. Yes, the international, San Diego International Exhibition. Yes. of photography so great all right jenny as always i'm going to let you take this one first okay and remind me he wanted to enter this in cell phone category i believe yes i believe that was it now doug it was a uh, was a participant in one of my uh cell phone workshops so all three of these images have been taken with a cell phone and manipulated in snapseed and I'm not sure if he did any more manipulation out of Snapseed, but this is kind of what you're going to see today. Okay. Okay. So, and just a back note, um, while there is a cell phone category, just because you take your picture with a cell phone doesn't mean you have to put it in that category, at least for this competition. Um, so a couple of things. I mean, overall, I, Obviously this image is highly processed. He did a lot of uh, adding things in Snapseed, um, texturing, making it kind of painterly. And overall, I do like the image. Um, the only thing I, the, the conflict I'm having <laughs> is that the lower part of the image has this kind of idyllic waterfall in nature. And then the upper part of the image, the um, applications he's applied to it, the processing makes the sky look very dark and foreboding. And so it feels like they're competing with each other. You have this really dark menacing sky. And then if you only look at the bottom part of the image, it's more painterly waterfall serene. So for me, if you get rid of the sky, it makes it a little stronger. It doesn't make it feel so conflicted to me. Um, and it is a little dark just because of the processing and again this is the type of image that people are going to like or not like um, the judges because of the processing so you kind of take a risk on you know whether they're really going to like it or they're just going to say no that's over processed i don't like it um, cell phone category is kind of open so you can do whatever you want in that category so uh what do you what do you think sandy yeah, I think um, I like the image. I like, uh, there's a lot of people that will really like this image. I can think of a few of them right off the top of my head that really, really like this image who are judges at the San Diego uh, Fair. Um, I tend to agree with you a little bit on the over-processing, maybe a little, little heavy-handed uh, in the sky. It does look a little foreboding, like you said. But it, my eye is directed to the little waterfall and that little scene in nature. But then what pulls me out of there is that tree on the right hand side that is also a beautiful little element in this image too. So um, I, and I'm wondering if the um, framing should be there or should not. I think I would take the framing would not have that framing. It's white. It wants to, it, I know it wants to border the image. I know you're trying to, you know, keep it all within this frame, but I think it is not that appealing, that white anyway. 
What, what do you think about the? Um, yeah, I wasn't even thinking of the white as part of the photo, but um, I guess well, with the I rounded corners, it is. Um, yeah, and I know, in, I'm sorry, what was that, Sandy? Oh, that's done in Snapseed. So yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just looking at the regulations here for the fair, and I, I know they have some restrictions on the stroke or how thick that outside line can be, and I'm pretty sure that wouldn't that would disqualify the image. So if he wanted to keep it like that, he could mat it to cut that out, or just crop it off before he has it printed. Um, but yeah, I think if you presented it with that on it, would disqualify it from this particular competition yeah so get rid of the frame doug yeah all right sorry. let's go to his <laughs> sorry uh <laughs> let's go to doug's second image and um here he's got a very nice um image of a flower taken with a cell phone i, I love the um i i like the fact that the red is right on one of those intersecting points for the rule of thirds and those leaves kind of fall off in the background. You've got that dark um, right hand, lower right hand corner. Beautifully done. The water droplets really add to it, whether they're natural or not. Um, you know, just a really, really, I think, nice image of a bud getting ready to open. Um, and putting this in the flower category, Jenny, what do you think about that? Or just um the flower category is a very large category <laughs> with a lot of really stiff competition um so i don't know that it would do well um i mean it's a nice image it's nicely framed it's you know everything you know technically everything's there um the background i think could be darkened a little bit it's a little busy for me um again we have the white border which we discussed about, um, but it's really going to have to pop to take the judges to, to make the judges stop because they're going to be going through hundreds of images in the flower category. And um, yeah, I mean, it, I think it might go on to second tier, but I don't know that it would do much beyond that. What do you think, Sandy? Well, um, I kind of like this image a lot. Uh, <laughs> I think if you, yeah, I, I really do. I get rid of the border. First of all, Doug, you got to get rid of the borders on these. They're, you're, they're not going to fly in this uh, competition. So, um, that's the first thing I do get rid of your signature. You cannot yeah. put anything in with a signature on it. Yeah. That's, um, um, that's a big, no, no, that's an automatic. No matter yeah, how good the image is, if there's a name on it, it's gone. Right, right. And um, uh, yeah, I agree with Jenny, maybe darken up the background in just specific areas like the top left hand corner, just a hair up there just kind of uh, so we don't look at those this little area? tiny white, you yeah. know, those yeah. little white things up in the left corner. Can you see them there? There might be more buds or petals or something. Are you seeing you my see annotation? Those? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I, you know what, uh, maybe go in and give that, a, that bud a little bit more pink and yellow to it, bring out the color just a hair more. It's nice the way it is. I like it. But like Jenny said, will it make it further in the competition? We don't know. We're not trying to discourage you. We're just telling you what we think. We're only two judges, right? we have our own opinions we don't judge normally we don't know what we're judging but we don't judge the flora category so we don't know what those judges or who they even are i don't know who they are uh, or who they will be this year so yeah i mean um, i think that's one of the categories that changes a lot i think mm -hmm. i seem to remember having done it one year a number of years ago i did flowers and there was overwhelming number of flowers <laughs> Good. yeah well otherwise i love the composition of this one just love it very very nicely done all right doug 
take your watermark off. Oh, now I see your annotation. <laughs> I guess they're a little late. So <laughs> now I'll try and erase I them. Can, I guess you can get rid of those now. I'm trying. And so I think I think um, Doug's intent was to put this in a people category somewhere. So um, so ignore those annotations for the time being. <laughs> They're not going away for some reason. Uh, doggone it. Um, and our, our first um, technical issue with <laughs> chicks talking pigs. Uh, so, um, I half a dozen Jenny, times. Go ahead. Not doing it. Yeah. Oh, gosh, darn it. Okay. Well, go ahead, Jenny. Talk <laughs> about this one. I know you were going to, you, you really liked this one for a reason. Um, I like this in that, um, and I'm sorry the annotations are over his face. Um, it looks like it could be a great album cover for me. To me, um, you know, there's motion. There we go. I finally went away. There they left. Okay. Okay. Um, obviously, the same sort of processing, um, kind of heavy-handed on the grain and stuff, which is great if you're doing some stylized sort of thing that, you know, this kind of looks like it would be. Like I said, an album cover where it's, you know, really artsy and stylized and, and gritty. Um, and I like that effect. I, we were struggling when we were discussing earlier what category this would fit in. And uh, before we go on to that, one of the things I don't like, I really like the guy's head <clears throat> on the, I don't want to use the annotation again. It might cause problems. <laughs> yeah, just don't. The, the guy with the hair across his face that's on the uh, left. The other one's face, he moved just enough that it makes it makes him look kind of odd. <laughs> um, yeah. So maybe if you did a lot more shoots where maybe they hold their head still, even though they're moving other parts of their body, you might get a better look on his face. Um, but to go on about where this would fit in the fair, um, we were discussing what people informal is a possibility. Yeah, people informal. Right. Cause it and, doesn't, yeah, it doesn't exclude any manipulation. Right. Um, it's kind of vague <clears throat> in the regulations onto what you can do. Um, it does say it can't be posed, which Sandy thought this was very unposed. To me, it seems a little posed, but um, again, the judges would make that determination for that category. And that's a category we don't typically get, um, being we're not typically people photographers. Another category that's possible would be digital photographic art. Um, yeah, yeah. And good suggestion. Yeah. But the judges in that, there's always two judges that that's their line of work so they're always consistent i don't know if the third judge is always the same and they are very um particular about digital art you know since that's what they do they can pick up the slightest thing that we might not see right away but you might even be allowed to keep some of that border i'm not sure if, again if that would be overstepping the bounds of the rules um being how wide it is You'd have to really carefully look at the rules if you can keep the border on there. But digital art might be a good place for it. <clears throat> yeah, I think it would do better in digital art. Well, no, you know, think there's a lot of good digital artists in there San Diego are. that are entering that. There are. It might do really good in, in informal people. It's hard to say. Yeah, yeah. You got to give it a try. You just, you just don't yeah. know. I mean, you know, you all, might... I, like, I, I really love the image. I think it has a lot of character, a lot of uh, action, a lot of, uh, I like the grit and the, the texture yeah. in it. Same here. Love the image, love the composition, love the hint of the guitar in the background against the wall. That one big face um, that's painted on the wall there. Uh, I'm torn on that one. <laughs> I think it, I think it would do well wherever you put it, except for me, it kind of draws me away. I want to like look at that thing because it is big and white. Um, again, about a great image, like Jenny said, for an album cover or something like that. I just, 
really do like the image. Um, again, take your name off of the image before you submit anything to the fair. I'd hate <laughs> to see something get knocked out because of that reason. And, um, you know, double check the rules because we don't know the rules in and out, but, um, you know, we're trying to give you our best, uh, you know, what we know, our best judgment on those rules. So, all right. I kind of like nice. that face on the wall that you were talking about. You do about. like it? I th mm -hmm. Well, I think it balances the image, but maybe darken it down a little bit. Oh so yeah, good idea. Yeah. But I think it adds some yep. balance because everything else is, it's a very heavily weighted to the left side. And I think that balances the, the composition overall. Um, but as Sandy was saying about the rules, a lot of times if there's things that are just against the rules, they get edited out before they even get to us. So if I had a copyright on it, or if the borders were off, we don't even see them because right. the admissions acceptance people will take those out before they even show them to the judges. Yeah, and I'm now that I'm the advertisement behind the boys. Okay. Um, yeah. That might be an issue going forward. I don't know. Um, but still, I don't, don't let us stop you from entering it because you might you might need some kind of release. I don't know what that would be for an ad. People would be glad to have their advertising up at an international competition, but I don't know. You might ask them before you put it in. Yeah. All right. Nice session, Jenny. <laughs> that was great. That was a lot of questions, especially going towards, you know, the fair. I mean, we've got, you know, that the deadline coming up April 15th. So we're, you know, we're almost a month away. Are we a month away? Yeah, we're a month yeah. away today, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Today is the 15th of March. So mm -hmm. we're going to get in a few more images, a couple more episodes before uh, the fair and um, before the deadline. So if you really want your images, if you got questions about images that need to go in the San Diego International Exhibition, you need to get them to us very quickly. We are, we've got a little bit of a lineup and, and back up right now, but we have permission from a couple of the people to push those that are wanting critiques before the fair to you know, go ahead and let them through before they, you know, we do their images, and yeah. nice of them. So um, uh, thank you, Carl, for that. <laughs> okay, so send them to chicks talking picks at gmail.com. Size them 1920 pixels on the longest side. If you're able, that would help me out. Just help me save a few minutes, and uh, we need them in JPEG format. So that would be great. And when you're watching episodes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little all to get notified so that you know when our next issue comes out. Super. All right, Jenny, it was nice talking with you today again. Have fun and out in the desert. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, thank you, I will. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks okay. so much. Bye. Bye.